How's it going everybody? We are back for another video review today. We haven't reviewed any gear for a while, um, and this is something we've been meaning to review for a long time, and we've gotten some requests, but today we are talking all things Vargo Firebox Grill. So let's get into it. So before I get into pros, cons, talking about stove, um, I'll throw the specs back uh, up on the screen. Um, you know, it's not a huge stove. Um, it's, it is expensive, but the good thing about this stove is it comes in both titanium and stainless. So um, Andy and I tend to recommend the stainless version. We got this stove uh, just over a year ago, actually. Um, and we got it for our Isle Royal trip, and we'll talk about why. Um, and we've used it a lot since then, a lot more than I actually thought we would. And we've cooked everything from fish to burgers to summer sausage to brats on it and a lot of things in between. So we've gotten a lot of use out of it and now it's time to really talk about the pros, cons, what we like, what we don't like. Um, Cause this is not a well-known stove. Um, the reason I got this stove is because we were going to Isle Royale and on Isle Royale you can't necessarily have campfires at all the campsites and we were going fishing um, and we wanted to grill fish but you are allowed to have twig burning stoves. So we were initially um, going to take a regular wood burning stove and kind of jimmy rig some sort of skillet up to it but uh, I was just doing some googling and I, fig I found this stove and we kind of rolled with it. This is made by Vargo Outdoors. They make a lot of titanium products. Uh, we have their tent stakes. They make uh, other wood burning stoves. They make a lot of stuff. They're a good company. Their stuff is just really expensive, but it, it's good. And, and most of it's made out of titanium. Now for this review, I'm not going to cook something in front of you guys with this. I have so much footage of us using this in so many different places. It's just gonna be a lot of B-roll thrown on top of here. Uh, but that's okay, you're still gonna see a ton of different things being cooked with this. Let's first talk about the design of this stove. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, so it's effectively a, a fold, folding up stove um, with a grill component that slides over top of it. Uh, and it's a pretty ingenious design. And as you can see, it's incredibly thin and it has a pretty small footprint, which is something that we were really drawn to um, with this specific stove and, and more so the thinness of this. So you can put this thing, slide it in anywhere, you know, it weighs under six ounces, it's super light, uh, it's very easy to pack and something we really like about it. Um, now when you put it together, uh, a common complaint and something that I had seen on the reviews leading up to buying this is one of the corners just doesn't stay you know, totally shut, um, especially if you're trying to refeed this thing. But it's really, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about right now. Um, I didn't think it was that big of a deal in practice, but it does kind of separate sometimes uh, at one of the corners. Now, this stove, in addition to being a grill, you can also boil water on it. You know, it is a wood burning stove. You can throw a pot of water on here and boil water with it. Um, now, it's a little bit slower than some of the more um, conical shaped wood burning stoves uh, because you don't get that concentrated flame, but it, it, you can use this to boil water. Now, we don't use it to boil water. That's not why we got it. You know, we got it because we needed, we, we needed a wood grill outside of a campfire situation and this satisfied that need entirely. One cool thing about this stove um, which is a little bit different than some of the other wood burning stoves is a lot of people, especially if you watch other reviews on this, will actually load this thing up with charcoal briquettes, um, which I think is really cool. We've never done it that way. You know, we've always just used biofuel laying around. Um, but especially if you're a, like a motorcycle camper or something like that, um, definitely check out using charcoal briquettes in this thing because that's way easier than using biofuel that you find backpacking. Let's talk about operating this stove. Um, and I'm gonna try and talk about this, you know, as, as being unique to this stove, but a lot of what I'm gonna talk about kinda just talks about wood burning stoves in general. Um, like other wood burning stoves, this thing is meant to be fueled from coals. So you gotta load it up, 
burn it down and get a nice bed of coals, but it does generate a lot of heat, um, which was something uh, I was surprised with how hot this thing can get. It really does cook stuff really well. Let's launch into the pros and cons of this stove, and then let's talk about the pros and cons of wood burning stoves in general, because as I was getting this video together, I really wanted to just talk about the pros and cons of this specifically, but we gotta kinda talk about wood burning stoves in general. So if you've never used a wood burning stove, um, you know the, the obvious pro is the entire system is light. It's significantly lighter than carrying a uh, you know, canister stove or even an alcohol stove um, because you don't have to carry fuel. You just use the fuel that's lying around and you can use twigs, bark, tinder, whatever you want, whatever you've got laying around, that's cool. The con, you gotta use biofuel. And if you're somewhere where it's wet um, or starting a fire is a pain, this thing's gonna, I mean, any wood burning stove, it, it's gonna be difficult to manage. You know, you're gonna have to constantly be refeeding it, blowing it, you're probably gonna have to use a fire starter. Um, so, you know, it's a pro and a con being able to use biofuel. Another pro I like about this is it's, it is more eco-friendly. I mean, it is, you're, you're using stuff that's already out in wild um, and you're not generating any trash from it. So I like that aspect of it. Um, so the main pro to a wood burning stove is weight and eco-friendliness, um, now the cons. Wood burning stoves, they just, they take more effort. Um, they're more of a pain, and if your environment is wet or you don't have access to good tinder or anything like that, it's just going to be a pain to use a wood burning stove. That, that's the major con. Another random con of wood burning stoves is you're gonna get ash and soot everywhere. Now there are some hacks to get around that if you really care about it. Um, some people will coat their, their uh, materials that they're going to burn wood in with some stuff before they wood burn in it and it, you, you can kind of wipe the soot off. I don't really care that much. You're out in the woods, you're gonna get dirty anyway. I care more like around home when I'm using it and I've got black soot all over my fingers but uh, a kind of like a, a annoying little con of wood burning stoves is you're gonna get um, ash everywhere. Now let's talk about the pros of this stove specifically. Obviously, it's a grill. I mean, it has a full grill face. Um, and the reason we got it, that's really cool. So you can, you can cook a ton of different kinds of food on it. And because it's a grill, you can also boil water on it. So you just set your pot on here and it's like uh, burning, you know, it's like using a fire to boil your water. Another pro to this stove is because it has a grid design, you know, a grill design on the top, uh, feeding it and refeeding it is, is easy. You just throw the twigs in between the grates here or because of the way the stove works, you can flip over one side and feed stuff in it there. Another pro to this setup is it comes in either titanium or stainless, which I think is cool. I think that's a pro. Like you can choose if you want to go heavy or light, spend a lot of money, a little money. I, I think that's cool. Another pro to this is I love the design of it. I think it's ingenious. I really do. And that's probably why it's so expensive because they had to like pay a team of you know design engineers to come up with this. I love the low profile of it. It's very easy to pack um, and it folds up really easily and it's durable, it's rock solid. Vargo makes great products in general. They're just expensive, but they make good products. Cons to this stove specifically, you know, we kind of touched on the issue of the corner kind of comes, uh, comes apart sometimes. Not a big deal for me. Some people might annoy. If you're using this stove to boil water, it does take a little bit longer than other wood burning stoves that are specific to burning water. Now, what have we cooked on this thing? And we have cooked a ton of stuff. Like I said, we initially got this stove to cook fish in Isle Royal, and we did do that. We cooked fish in foil on the stove, which turned out really well. Uh, we cooked fish in a skillet on this stove, which also turned out well. However, the aluminum foil method is easier and, it, and I think is better. We have cooked summer sausage in a skillet on this stove. We have cooked summer sausage directly on this stove. We have cooked broths on this stove. We have cooked burgers on this stove. So we really have cooked a ton of different stuff on this stove. And I will say it's very consistent in how it cooks stuff. Um, now some of that will depend on how wet and or dry the surrounding you know, uh, fuel is gonna be. But it is pretty consistent in how it cooks stuff, which is actually, uh, I think, another cool pro to this stove. So that's it. That's a really quick overview, our thoughts on the Vargo Titanium Firebox Grill. 
Um, you know, in summary, a lot of the cons I'm gonna say about this are more cons to wood burning stoves in general and not specific to this stove. We really like this stove. We got this for one trip and I thought we'd never use it again after that trip because it really fills a specific niche in backpacking stove technology. But we take this thing a lot and it now comes with me generally on my overnight summer loadout. You know, I'm not taking this in the winter, I'm not taking this when it's wet, but that's because I don't wanna deal with wood burning stoves in general. But in the summer, overnight, you know, we just took it to Archer's Fork, everything was dry, popped it open, Andy had some brats going in less than five minutes and it was awesome. As I said earlier, we're probably going to recommend the stainless version for a lot of people, unless you're total gram snobs like Andy and I. Um, but then again, we split the cost of this between both of us, so it wasn't that expensive on a per person basis. But if you're someone uh, who's into wood burning stoves or who wants to do some grilling, you don't want to have to deal with grilling over an open fire, Definitely check this out. I'll put a link to it in the description. There are also some really good reviews of this stove. Um, check those out if you wanna see more people talking about it. But that's the Vargo Titanium Firebox Grill. If you're into grilling, check it out.